first clip of week two, it's got to be poggers, right? Giant XP drop. Yeah, first rune sphere of the account. And there we go. 50 rune crafting for Vizlax. First Viz, first reroll, straight into DG daily. I think those are still pretty good uh, at early levels, too. All right, first time, 137 tiers. Big summoning levels, 39. Nice. All right, so contact done. Let's hit summoning. 40 summoning. Oh, whoops, it's actually two rubs for 42. Four quest points, nice. 63 magic. That's uh, 225, which means another magical die. Magical dice, but actually it's probably going to be a magical die out of the first one. Ah, so close to a die though, right? And there's Missing My Mummy and the fully completed Sin Linton. Got a few levels from that. Well, there's a level off of cash, but I actually missed one for uh, for yesterday. So, feels bad, man. And if I make these Chaos Boots... Bam! Elemental Workshop 4. Got a Rune Crafting level, a Crafting level, 50 coal. And all that together gave me 1300 total. Alright. There's Underground Pass. Yeah, that wasn't worth the, tr the struggle. And I'm about to finally pick up this agility level. Oh, God. That was tough, and that was the only other time that I actually had to do those penguins. 52 agility. Now I can finally go and do wilderness agility. See, I'm up to uh, 1.3 mil thanks to the scarabs and the quest caravan. Let's hope I don't die. Oh, yeah, and, like, obviously I'm doing this wilderness agility uh, late at night so that there's very few people on and on low populated worlds and off stream all right so i finished off 52 agility earlier and now i'm up to 60 all in one sitting did a large amount of dg crafting while on stream and uh, let me just close these captures and uh yeah got 52 dungeoneering 56 crafting and a few other incidental levels taken care of and there's 45 fletching that way I can finally use the uh, maple logs for miscellanea for uh, something other than fire making. Can, uh, oh, and I can stop chopping oaks to make arrow shafts. That's the more important thing. Well, my uh, heart is pumping regardless, but I just escaped a peak here. Get out of here, ya garbage. Nice, it only took uh, three of these to actually succeed one. I got lucky and got, uh, you know, put the thing in the other thing. All right, da 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 da. Oh, halved. Well, it was still better than a uh, a failed one. Not bad. You know, I don't even get why people uh, try to PK here in the first place. You can make way more money just doing something simple like QBD, or uh, I mean, even a Raxor. If you get good at Rax, you're gonna make like, I don't know, four or five times what you do here. Come on, guys. All right, there's uh, 64 agility. That's a pretty good milestone. It means that I can always catch multiple Viridian skill chompas right there. And I can do uh, the Firemaker's Curse and Prisoner of Gloffrey, which are both uh, pretty good quests. Uh, Firemaker's Curse is specifically something I'm uh, kind of working towards for my firemaking, so I can get that bonus XP. So uh, 51 and a half to 60... Uh, agility yesterday and uh, 60 to 65 today I uh, gotta grind out a little bit more and then go run my uh, daily Nime forest which I forgot to do around reset because I was busy with life stuff so even though it's fairly inefficient uh, I've been doing bow strings for this willow short bows daily I kind of didn't want it to go to waste it saves me a little bit of money uh, for that fletching XP might get me some better logs anyway um, it's taken me like 250 bowstring or something so far to finally get a crafting strange rock 
That's actually part of why I am doing it. I already got my two fletching rocks. Ha! I was starting to believe that it's not even possible. Like, I was gonna go make some crappy urns or something, but... Seriously? It's just stupid rare? Start the next day with just a little bit of agility training, and like, ten minutes in, guy shows up and he tries. He ain't shit. Get out of here, kid. Aw, oh, look at him. Look at him trying. He got off his last shots. Sit down, kid. Well, after an incredible amount of frustration trying to get my crafting rock, I think I have like four or five hundred excess bowstrings just sitting in the bank right now. Um, yeah, that's the first statue of Damarok done. Uh, I'm doing it just because, yeah, as you can see, it's really good XP drops. Uh, probably worth doing, you know, the once a week that you can. Um, completing the statue isn't really a goal of the series or anything. I actually expect the series to be done before the statue could be completed. Um, even doing it every single week. See, I knew one day my, uh, bunny farming would pay off, right? I got, uh, I got a jackalope, I think it is, right? Yeah. Nice. Gather produce. And, uh, basically the same farming XP, but not bad. 69 agility and... Yeah, I just realized that agility is now my highest skill by five levels. Or, uh, actually over 200,000 experience. It, it doesn't feel right. I, I never thought this day would happen. Hey, the first 70 skill. That means I can do the, uh, blue dragon shortcut, I think, yeah? Uh, yeah, Taverly Dungeon, Pipe Squeeze. So I think that was my, uh, fourth attempt at the pit, but I end up getting the Nimble Headwear. I'm actually just learning that Nimble is now available to people through the pit. That's that's an update I missed. Wow, so I've been here for like three hours and I just ran into my first PKer, I think? Uh, he didn't really react to anything, so he might not even be a PKer. Let's see, can I just walk around uh, the outside? Yeah, hello. Predator. L Predator? Yeah. Sounds like a peak air. That's alright. Oh hey, there's uh there's fifty-eight hunter. Fourteen hundred total. Oh, and getting really close to uh five mil total XP. There we go. Forty eight to sixty eight hunter in one sitting. And got no chins for my player owned farms. Alright, Legacy of Seer Gaze complete. Two levels. I'll take it. And then uh, I think this gives some Herblor levels. I think that'll be the first level, and then this will be a little bit more of the next one. So 48. Not bad. Alright, let's get the uh, next die. And a ring. Oh, I still don't want that ring. Roll it to see one mil and an H3 body. All right. All right, started working on fishing and now uh, day 12. Finally have the last requirement for the penguin quests so I can now do some like it cold and uh, back to the freezer. Trying to get up to 68 fishing today, which is another 154,000 XP. And that's uh, because today and tomorrow's a uh, traveling merchant has really good items that I need to go buy. Been grinding out fishing still, and hey, I got a, uh, a piece of the set, so let's go for, I guess, the chest beeps. Yeah. Let's get that. Bam. Got the jacket. Nice. 1% BXP. And there's the 68 I was trying to get to so that I can enter the fishing guild. And in the nick of time, this is the guy I was looking for. D&D token weekly. 400k coins. Buy it. Because that's worth like 40-something thousand herblor. Alright, so end of roving elves. Let's... No, 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 no. Not that option. Let's pick the right option for the crystal bow. Give me the bow. Bam. Strength XP. And 275 quest points. 
claim and roll for die, right? Uh, no. Trimmed Runekite Shield, huh? I'll take the mill, though. Well, there's uh, 70 fishing taken care of. I can now get Shark Fragments for one, and I can now do Deadliest Catch once I have the right thieving level. Uh, if y'all are wondering, I ended up stopping training agility because I only need to get to 77, and that's uh, it's basically one to two more nights of uh, doing the wildy course, so I decided to calm down a little bit uh, because 71 is good enough for now for the quest that I need to get out of the way. 77 is just Ritual of the Majorat later on. And as soon as this door pops, yeah, there we are. 62 thieving, and I can finally start doing saves. Aha, safe cracking. Gotta do uh, one caper, and then, yeah, time for big XP gains, right? Alright, and right here should be the Wilderness Easy Task set. Taken care of. Let's use these lamps on Herblor. And, yeah, next one. Bam, straight from 51 to 53. Feels nice. And the uh, Wilderness Sword 1 come in handy for safe cracking. Which, uh, it can apparently get like 300 to 350,000 an hour, right, whenever you begin it. Which will take me all the way from like 62 to 69, which is what you need for the second route for safes. It's crazy. Got a clue scroll from my very first safe. Well, that's a good start. And like that, bam, 65 thieving, that gets me access to the Varrock Palace safes. And 1500 milestone, yeah, total 1500. Basically to end off day 13, I'm not going to do too much more of this. I'm going to bed pretty soon, but that's a nice level. Yeah, you know, I had to do it. There's 70 thieving for Deadliest Catch taken care of. I think I'm going to still do this thieving thing, though, because if I just uh, hand in this item for coins, I've already made, like, 600k from this, which just feels great. I mean, I had no other real source of income, and this is, like, maybe three to 400,000 an hour uh, at best, but it's still, like, something. It's better than trying to do Slayer at 52 Slayer. Um, so now I can afford to do Broads as long as I do enough of this, so yeah, I'm going to hop on this. So after a closer inspection of the uh, future stock of the Traveling Merchant Shop, there are eight more monthly tokens over like the next four months. So that means every single month I can do my troll invasion and my god statues twice, which is just insane. So the next one is actually rolling around on the 31st of this month. I already have one, so I can do both of my monthlies on the last day of the month, reset them both, and then run them again, and just get loads of XP all in one day. So I looked back at Pert PPC's video on safe cracking, and I've been doing it wrong the whole time. I haven't actually been clicking every time they went blue, so whoops, I've only been doing like a third to half the XP rate that I could be getting. But I'm happy regardless, because I can now afford to buy broads again. So I bought them before reset, or I bought 6,000 before reset, 9k now, and I've still got 700k on me? Like, this is so new, and I've only done 62 to 74. Feels really good, man. So uh, what's the stack up to? 39k broads, 120k feathers, and almost 40k headless arrows. Yeah, lots of fletching banked. And now that I know how to do this thing right, I am clocking in at... Yeah, like 430,000 XP an hour. I was getting like 250k before, and I just thought Pert's guide was wrong, but no. In fact, I am just noob. Uh, so yeah, I love this XP. I've almost burned through 75 to 76 in under 20 minutes. It's crazy. Alright, so I can confirm that Giant Molt is not worth it in terms of Slayer XP an hour, at least at this point. Scarabs are just way too good. But, Dagonoth Kings, that's just some free Reaper points and some free Slayer XP, so I'm definitely going to take that. And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that one of my first Slayer tasks, I'm not going to start rolling them till I hit 58, you can see the goal right there, will either be Cave Horrors, uh, Dagonauts for Dagonoth Kings, and just camp out a task there, get my hatchet taken care of. Uh, 
yeah, are, are just, you know, a good task. So, yeah, waiting till 58 to actually start doing Slayer, even though I have some melee training that I need to do real soon. So I've been recording my uh, XP gains doing this safe cracking method, at least this this route, I suppose, where I do uh, these two in Birthorp, one in Fally, two in Port Serum, and uh, two in the Black Knight's Fortress with the uh, the skull breaking 500k an hour now that I've uh, turned in my first loot bag. This is just, it's absurd, man. And so much gold, uh, probably like five to 600,000 an hour, so about uh, one GP to one XP. It's crazy. And we're getting to the end of this week's video. Hopefully my timing is right for this level. Uh, should be coming in pretty soon. But anyway, got a whole lot of quests taken care of, and of course, you know, past 1500 total level. Uh, if you guys are wondering, I'm just short of seven days of playtime. I'm at something like six days and 18 hours or something. But bam, 80 thieving taken care of. That's pretty, pretty big level, right? Yeah. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm already collecting the camouflage outfit pieces, even though I can't use them. Uh, let's see what that's sitting at right now. Like 1,800. It's not even that much for. Uh, for 70 to 80 but these levels are just flying by I mean four to five hundred K an hour is crazy stuff uh, gotta get all the way to 85 that'll be the uh, thieving requirement taken care of for all quests uh, through pieces of hate so yeah that's gonna happen uh, within the next few days then it's back to dungeoneering and I'm probably gonna be dungeoneering for most of the next week so that I can get uh, lots of DG rewards taken care of and get my crafting up to, uh, yeah, like level 80 or so. We'll see where that ends up. Anyway, that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Feel free to tune into my streams. They're going to be happening uh, pretty much all the time. See you next week.